pretty cool that Tom time traveled and ran into his mom. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's pretty interesting. <laughs> I love how he's like, enough with the Nazi jokes. You're standing like Hitler at the Olympics right now. You're standing like Jesse Owens just dissed you. You're like, it's a cum joke. I'm fat. My titties squirt milk. Getting them back on my side. Uh, I just want to thank Peyton for taking time uh, out of his busy schedule to be here. I know it's hibernation season. Um, <laughs> When Payton's not hibernating, he spends his time eating a whole chocolate cake in front of his elementary school. That's nice. You invited all your friends from the home out to come watch you roast, Max. That's nice. You can tell Max, Max is a little bitch, isn't he? You can tell. Max is the kind of guy who wakes up in the morning like this. <laughs> Damn, that was, that was a good joke. I'm gonna have to work overtime like your healthcare provider. Um, <laughs> all right. Peyton, uh... <laughs> Peyton has calf tattoos, ew. Uh, <laughs> he has the Rolling Stones logo on his left calf, uh, which is good, because that's the only time a woman's mouth will go below his waist. <laughs> no, that one sucked, Max. Um, <laughs> Don't you think Max is a guy who orders a glass of milk at a restaurant and drinks it with both hands? <laughs> I'd rather drink milk than be able to produce it. It's easy to make fun of Peyton's dating life and be like, oh, he's gonna die alone. But like, I just, he's such a great guy. <laughs> it's an easy thing to say, right? But he's such a great guy. Like, I know one day when he's on his deathbed, he'll be surrounded by like a warm, loving crane operator. <laughs> Max dropped out of college, which is something he had in common with all of, of his uh, girlfriends. None of them finished either, which is cool. <laughs> it was a cum joke. I'm fat. My titties squirt milk. Getting them back on my side. Damn, you fucking caught my ass there, Peyton. Damn. Uh, uh, Peyton, okay, I've been, Peyton's been working out a lot. Um, not to lose weight, just to make sure he can hug those Hooter waitresses extra hard. <laughs> Got another milk joke coming at you. <laughs> Max looks like the kind of guy who still leaves milk and cookies out for Santa, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Yeah, that one was bad. It wasn't wrong. Um, I don't know. Thank, thank you for that. Thank you, Miss Pig He. Um, <laughs> uh, All right, Peyton, uh, Peyton played football in high school, and he wasn't very good. The, the one time he played... Both teams cheered when he scored. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Max is the kind of guy who would join the Navy just to wear the uniform, you know? Because he's gay. <laughs> Go ahead. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, Peyton's last name is Ruddy, and in the English language, Ruddy, it means a healthy reddish color. Uh, which is funny, because if you see a healthy reddish color on Peyton, it means the elevator was broken. <laughs> Max looks like the kind of guy who pulls his pants all the way down at the urinal, you know? <laughs> and Peyton looks like the guy who's watching me do it. Oh, yeah. We should take this on the road or something. Yeah, okay, yeah. This. Um, last, last joke, last joke. Yeah. Last okay. joke. On the rare occasions that Peyton eats a piece of fruit or has sex, <laughs> <laughs> it's always in bread. <laughs> last joke, you said? 
Max is pretty skinny, which is weird because he eats a bag of dicks on stage almost every night. <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, give it up for Max and Peyton. Oh, my God. Love these guys. Fuck you guys. Um, this was a... Uh, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. This was not great. Um, this was good. David, you look like, you know, when, when you, like, go soft on a woman, you just, instead of saying this never happens to me, you're just like, you know, yeah, your pussy's just not really my vibe, you know? It's like... <laughs> I'm just getting, like, bad energy from that, from that snatchy snatch, and, you know, maybe we can link at Coachella later, but that pussy... Sorry, gang. And, uh, keep going. I don't know. I... It would just be the N-word next. Um, and Courtney, you look like a, you look like a person like in Tom and Jerry when they get hit on the head with a frying pan. Where you're like, you, you look like you should be wavy and like, oh. Is that what happened to you? Is that what happened to me? Okay. Uh, you know, you were going to get my vote only because... <laughs> this was great. Uh, she wants to come at me? I mean, that's just rude. I mean, I mean... Yeah, that's big words coming from Taylor Bomlinson up there, but... Um, <laughs> Who we voting that? for, Payne? Who we voting for? Oh, God. I think I won. All right. <laughs> I'm going to give it to David. I'm going to give it to David. All right, keeping it interesting. Give it a... Matt looks like the kind of guy who calls his mom mother. <laughs> <laughs> Peyton looks like Gabriel Iglesias trying to blend it at a Pearl Jam concert. <laughs> That really sucks. I'm wearing a pearl jersey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some people say Matt like dresses like a homeless guy. I don't know. Matt actually, he gave me a ride home one time. I gotta say, he's got a pretty nice shopping cart. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Peyton's actually a very accomplished blues guitar player, uh, which makes sense because the minor pentatonic is the only scale he hasn't broken yet. <laughs> <laughs> I will never get that one. <laughs> Holy Nelson, I'm shocked. Holy smokes. <laughs> Come out good in your alley, old buddy. Could be a Mexican Rosie O'Donnell out of this. <laughs> Wait, which one's Mexican Rosie O'Donnell? Uh, that's me, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. You ever see those missing cat posters? Nine times out of ten, Matt knows what happened to him. There you go. Uh, Peyton's mom is, uh, is a lesbian, which is, which is true. Uh, she actually has a video up on Pornhub. It's called Lesbian Milf Titty Fuck Son. I don't think it's funny, I think we'll just laugh because they all saw it. <laughs> Men are like the people thing. <laughs> Matt looks like uh, Matt looks like he buys cars not for the gas mileage, but for the trunk space, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm under a lot of pressure up here. What am I? Your knees? Holy oh, smokes. Oh. Oh. Peyton used to work at the Olive Garden. They had to start offering limited breadsticks. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Matt's been wearing glasses since he was 12. That's a long time of seeing how much potential you don't have. <laughs> Uh, I'm really proud of Pete. He loves his lesbian mother, which is shocking because he looks like if Chris Christie had Mike Pence's haircut. That would fucking suck, man. <laughs> Matt bombs so much in comedy that it inspires him to bomb other things, such as buildings and airports. <laughs> Thank you, Ralphie. May or may not live to see 30. <laughs> Uh, Peyton's a lot like his gay mom. They both come from eating out. <laughs> yes! Last one. Last one. Last one? Oh, shoot. All right. Matt looks like the kind of guy who claps for strippers when they get off stage. <laughs> oh, oh. 
Next to me, to the main stage. Next to me. Keep it down, man. They don't know that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bay Bayton, what is that? Your metric weights? Okay, what was that? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm moving along. I'm moving along. Uh, let me see. Uh, Peyton's the kind of, he's a cool guy. He's the kind of guy that would get elected prom king. Sorry, he's the kind of guy who'd get erected at a Burger King. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Bo. Is that it? All right, yeah, that's, that's it. Want to get one Man. Man, you know, um, I am fat and I do need to make changes. Um, <laughs> that you do. I will say that. Um... <laughs> And that's okay. Nishad, what's your... Barrow, is that your last name? Mm-hmm. Barrow, what's your middle name? Wheel? Okay. Um, <laughs> wheelbarrow, which is what Gabe was holding, carrying this entire fucking battle, because... <laughs> Nishad, you really, really sucked. Um, I gotta say, Gabe filled in last minute, and who knew all he had to do was call him black, and just that would win the battle. That was awesome. <laughs> it is, and it's okay. You don't have to call me fat again. We know that's the only joke you got. It's okay. Yeah. I was gonna say something about wheelbarrow, but yeah. wheelbarrow. Yeah. Pronounce it right first, and then something, something about you being fat. Being fat. Yeah. Why don't you? Why don't you just, yeah, you need some Whoopi gold bond on your ashy ass elbows. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I like your hair. I like your hair. Did you get it from Spirit Halloween this morning? You look. Here, let me just put it frankly. You look fucking retarded, Nashad. How about that? <laughs> oh wait, I'm sorry. What? What? Oh, I'm sorry. You're tiny thickums. I'm sorry. I, I... <laughs> you look like her in a wig. All right. Okay, sorry. I look like. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I think I won this one. Um... <laughs> No, pain wins the road. No, this fucking battle was all. You guys were really great. Last minute too. Fucking round of applause for them. Last minute, writing these jokes. It was fucking killer. That was great. You guys are great. I'm gonna give my vote to Gabe though. I think Gabe won. Yeah, oh, great job. Gabe wins it. Give it up for these two. Oh my god. All right. Uh, Tom's dog uh, actually had to get surgery and had rehab for four months. Tom's a real trooper for not fucking his girlfriend for four months, isn't he? Isn't that nice? Good one, Fat Rife. That was very funny. Yes. Payton's pants size is the same as an Epstein Island relationship. 56-12. <laughs> that was good. Yes, they're hot. What can I say? Um... Tom, this is true. Tom once got a lap dance from pregnant stripper. Pretty cool that Tom time traveled and ran into his mom. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Peyton's mom is actually a lesbian, and mm -hmm. Peyton was so upset that he heard about it that he swore off pussy for the rest of his life. Tom, they all know I fuck like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Tom looks like the kind of guy who goes up to cops and says, thank you for your service. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's, it's getting scary out here. It's getting scary, and I appreciate everything you do. All right. Keep it real or... <laughs> Fucking white motherfucker. <laughs> Payne's dad is an actor, actually, and Payne gets really excited when he says he got a role because he thinks he's going to make a sandwich. Yeah, that's funny. It's easy. It's easy. <laughs> it's easy for Tom to call me fat. That's visible. It's tougher to see homosexual retardation, isn't it? It's. <laughs> yes, Peyton is fat. Peyton is so fat that he actually tried to skydive, but unfortunately, he was way too fat. I can't think of something that would make me want to jump out of an airplane more than being too fat to jump out of an airplane. <laughs> Peyton jumping out of an airplane with a parachute would be like if a normal-sized person jumped out with an umbrella. Yeah, once again, I get pussy. Um, yeah. All right. Tom used to play basketball, that's true. 
Yeah, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty nice that he's taken after his mom. You know, being sweaty, out of breath, and surrounded by black guys for three hours every day. Isn't that nice? That's funny. Black guys. Black guys actually love Peyton, probably because he's shaped like a basketball and he looks like the girls they fuck from behind. Black guys, they love the big girl, man. They love the big girl. <laughs> Tom, Tom's actually lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Weight off his shoulders after finding out his new neighbors aren't black people. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Peyton has a tiny cock. I've never seen it, but neither has he. Last joke? Last joke? Last joke. Tom's uh, favorite restaurant is Chipotle, mainly because of the giant wall between him and the Mexican making his food. <laughs> has the iconic Rolling Stones tongue tattoo on his leg. That's how fat Peyton is. He needs another mouth tattooed on him. <laughs> All right, give it up for that. <laughs> All right, thank you. Great job, boys. Here, come on. Thanks. Oh, come oh. back here. This is our winner. All right, Peyton. Yeah, give it up for AJ. I don't know. They fucking hate you, AJ. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. You wish power. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, doggy. Um, yeah, you guys both look like you're wearing like spirit Halloween wigs. <laughs> and it's not like one you just bought, like it's been sitting in the closet and you, you, you put it on like at a party, you're like, check me out, huh? And AJ, I know you, I, I gotta say, you're having a bad hair day, man. I don't know, it's making me like hungry. It looks like chicken. It looks like a chicken nugget, right? Was that too fat for this audience? Yeah. I was like, AJ, I want to turn you upside down. By the way, everything in this room is making Peyton hungry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, yeah, it's the chicken under like the red light. It looks like you're roasting. I'm like, oh. And Hannah, speaking of roasting, get away from that. Um, yes. You look like you call it the holla cost. Um, <laughs> Holla, ain't no Holocaust, girl. You look like, yeah, you, I bet that's what you were singing when you survived the Holocaust. You're like, sorry, ain't no Holocaust, girl. <laughs> that's my you. That's my you. <laughs> Few times I've been on that train, so <laughs> ain't no Holocaust, girl. And then AJ's, AJ is uh, Schindler's List. He's like, four minutes to save the world. Time is waited. All right, nobody knows. Fuck that. Fuck. Anyway. Uh, Mr. Derek talks about how uh, growing up, everyone was afraid of his mean German dad. Yeah, I'd be pretty scared, too, if my dad was Adolf Hitler, you know? The strudel was amazing, though. Uh, it was an amazing strudel. Baked by Jews. Um... <laughs> I don't know, before I begin, I think we need to acknowledge the baby elephant in the room. I am. <laughs> Peyton's wardrobe was made possible by the Parachutist Guild of America. Was that, that was the end of it? No, that was the end, go buddy. <laughs> he was like, I got a good one, you're fat. Uh... <laughs> okay. Hey. It's, uh, it's nice that Mr. Derrick is, uh, you know, following in the footsteps of his father. You know, a struggling artist. <laughs> Adolf Hitler painted before he killed Jews. <laughs> he was not good at it. He was better, he was better at the other thing. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Killing's an art, my friend. It is an art. Uh, it was very creative. Uh, listen, Peyton does very, very well with the women. Until they find out he's not a lesbian. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. You're laughing too hard at that one. Too much. I have a penis. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Mr. Derrick, if your first two jokes don't work, uh, don't worry, Third Reich is always a charm. You're a Nazi. All right, got it. Uh... <laughs> 
I'm all out of Nazi comebacks. I'm, a, I'm sorry. I uh, didn't think you'd do three in a row, but you know what? It's... Yeah, we didn't think you would do six million, so... I didn't kill them. Uh... <laughs> By the way, don't let uh, Peyton size fool you. He's very, very agile and athletic. In fact, in 2019, this man competed in the run with the bulls in Palermo, Spain. Five people died. Needless to say, he's not allowed to run anymore. <laughs> El Toro Loco is not welcome in Spain anymore. <laughs> I love how he's like, enough with the Nazi jokes. You're standing like Hitler at the Olympics right now. <laughs> You're standing like Jesse Owens just dissed you. You're like, oh, that black guy is going to get it stop later. Nazi <laughs> jokes. Just stop. <laughs> All right? Just fucking stop. <laughs> you will stop with the Nazi jokes! <laughs> get on, stop with the Nazi <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Forgive him. He's on meth and wants to kill every Jew ever. Uh... Is it my turn? Is that the... Mr. Derek is uh, actually divorced, yeah. Wouldn't that make him Ms. Derek? He's a pussy. <laughs> this is very hard, because I really do like Peyton. He's a uh, good friend. Uh, I actually like everything about him. Even his name, Peyton. Reminds me of my favorite football player, Walter Payton. Although it'd be hard to imagine that guy running with a football unless it were filled with honey. <laughs> no. Yes. I'm allowed two fat jokes. I'm allowed two. I think that was your third, but... Uh, oh, that's nice. That's okay. Yes, yes. Mr. Derek read a bunch of Winnie the Jew. I don't know. I had nothing. Uh, I thought I had something. <laughs> Mr. Derek, he's a great dad. With his kids, he loves to play hide-and-seek Kyle. He doesn't like Jews. It's your turn. I'm not from the country bombing children's hospitals, so... Uh, all right. I'm sorry to the Israelis in the room. Uh, all right, I, uh, all this child killing, I, uh, this is awesome. Uh, Peyton, a uh, very impressive man. He plays the guitar. Plays the, he does, he's, he's beautiful. He's just sexy, beautiful guitar playing. I, uh, he's so good. I don't know why he doesn't bring his guitar on stage, but he, he doesn't need a crutch, and that's good news for crutches. <laughs> Wait, are you, were you calling me fat in that one? No, not at all. I, you're very aggressive, that's all. I, oh, yeah. You're an aggressive walker. There's no problem. Anyway. Uh, Mr. Derek, he likes to throw big 420 parties. Uh, he's not a weed smoker or anything. Uh, 420 just also happens to be Adolf Hitler's birthday. Is that right? I didn't know. Is that right? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You still got your VIP wristband on. You're like, is that right? No, I don't even. <laughs> it's in my phone. Uh, yes. Uh, when Peyton was a child in school, uh, his teacher asked him if he could solve for pi. Uh, and, and, and wait a hang on. And, <laughs> fucking retarded. And he did. <laughs> And he did solve for a pie, and, and she said, that was very good, Peyton, and she gave him a cookie. And, uh, and so it would be very, and what kid wouldn't want a cookie? And so he very, very happy. Later in the day, he passed by his principal, Mr. Richards, and Mr. Richards said, Peyton, how's your day going? And Peyton said, I solved for pie. And he said, very good, Peyton, and he gave him a cookie. Two cookies, it's a good day for Peyton. <laughs> He gets home and his mother asks him what his day was like. And Peyton said, I solved for pie. And she said, I'm very proud of you, Peyton. She patted him on the head and 
she walked away, and Peyton said, where's my cookie, bitch? And, and she said, now, Peyton, food is not a reward. In our home, food is not a reward. Uh, we are not predators. So Peyton was a little angry at first, but he, he, he kind of took that advice to heart, and the next day, he, uh, his teacher asked him if he could reduce scale of a square so that its proportions were still equivalent. And uh, he did it. She went to give him a cookie. And Peyton said, food's not a reward in this house. And she took it to heart. She said, well, what can I reward Peyton with? And so she thought about it long and hard, and she came up with stickers. I will give Peyton stickers. So Peyton, for the rest of the year, solved one fucking equation after another, accumulated a massive book of stickers. A massive book of stickers. And one day, Peyton was walking down the road with that book of stickers. And he met jazz musician David McDavid. <laughs> and David McDavid said, Yo, all, Peyton, how you doing? What's that you got in your hand? And Peyton showed him the book of stickers. And McDavid wanted those stickers. So he said, how much you want for them stickers? <laughs> Peyton said, what do you got? And being the jazz magician that he was, he pulled out a big bag of weed. And he said, I got this weed for you. So Peyton took the weed and he smoked it all. And then he got a massive bout of munchies and you know how the rest of that story goes. <laughs> stickers are not a reward for performance. Wow, you were really Joseph Stalin up here. Uh, holy shit. That was a long walk for nothing. That was, uh, that was almost as long as Hitler was killing Jews, I think. That, was, that joke was about 1939 to 1940, whenever Jews stopped dying. I think that was... There was a lot of Jews, Peyton. There was a lot of Jews. So. Wow. Um, I don't know, is the club still open after that joke? Oh, that was crazy. I think they did last call during that. I don't know. No, I, I got it. <laughs> is this last joke? Yeah. I don't even know. What's this funny like is a, that was his second to last joke. I know. That was, not, that was like a poem. Okay. That was a longer walk than you've ever been on. Yes. Okay. Uh, we get it? I snack. Uh, <laughs> find something new, folks. Uh, 24 years of this. No, it's okay. Mr. Derek is actually, he's a big fan of woodwork. Uh, yeah, he also, he also thought the Holocaust would work. No. I, I had to find something. That was my last joke. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I feel like I should just leave it at that with that big long joke. That wasn't fair. So, uh, <laughs> I love Peyton. That's my ending joke. Uh, 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 what? Give, give, give it up for them, everybody. That's really the last one? Oh, okay. Oh, okay.